I am top Florida realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. We're at 1514 Singletary Avenue, Pahokee, Florida, 33476. Here in Glade Citizens Villas in Pahokee, Florida. This property right here, three bedrooms, one bath, is for sale. The purpose of this video is to give you what you can't see. Look at the very best pictures posted online on Zillow, Realtor.com, Homes.com, Trulia, Redfin. How do I know? Well, because you've seen those pictures, I'm the one who took them and posted them. Some people call and say, all right, it's all those great pictures. What's the neighborhood really like? And that's what this is for. Here, of course, in Pahokee, near Lake Okeechobee. There's no HOA here. This is definitely a safe family neighborhood. And I'm out front. People are like, hey, what's going on with the house? Who are you? We know all the owners, everything. So it's the kind of place you definitely would want to be. You want a place where people know each other. Safe and friendly. And of course this house is a handyman special. It's going to be super affordable. So one of the things you can't tell with the average agent is what are the neighbors like. So here we are on a Saturday afternoon. This is the house. There's your home. Look at that nice tree. That just gives you a feel what the neighbors are like. So you can see someone's put some money into that, made it nice. Definitely a good family home. That's me parked there. Got my son in the car while we're taking it. So the white car does not convey with the property or the neighborhood. So these houses are affordable, especially with no HOA. The taxes on this house with no homestead is only $1,729. The tax assessed value is $64,800. You get 25,000 or more off with homestead so your taxes will easily be less than a thousand dollars a year if you buy it as an owner occupant so the whole neighborhood is built in the early 70s our property is built in 1972 Go look in the backyard of our subject property again. Okay, we're back at our house again. So we've got three bedrooms, one bath. Property right now is definitely in need of a renovation. I talk about good bones. So it had unit AC. The seller had upgraded the electrical, which we'll see when we go inside, ready for the new AC. So it's got a new electrical panel box, already pre-wired. So you just have to put central air in. That's one of the upgrades to consider. Look at that tree. Nobody else has got one like that. Got a shed in the back. Plenty of green space here where you can fence your yard or leave it open and have the feeling of even more space. So it needs a new roof, new AC. Everything else is just cosmetic. That is your tree and that is nice. All right, we'll go around front. Alright, let's go inside. Now the property was built in 1972. The county says the effective year built is 1982, which means someone did a lot of renovations to this in 82. 
And now it's going to need some renovations again. Most things in here are original. So we're going to do the things you would do to any renovation. Flooring, paint, little drywall. While you're at it, you're probably going to end up doing the kitchen cabinets. And probably the bathroom. Sounds like a lot. It really is not. It's just fixtures, paint, drywall. Stuff that everyone would love to do. That shed's really nice on the inside. I don't have the key for it right now. The kitchen cabinets would be inexpensive. The kitchen's on the smaller side. Paint and flooring, you're going to do anyway, no matter anything that you buy. This is like a huge pantry. Huge. Now, personally, I think the air handler should go right here. If you're going to move everything, probably would want to move the water heater too, but that's up to you. Whoever put this in was thinking the air handler would go in here. And it's pre wired. Drive you crazy going back and forth here. That's a oversize of anything. So you probably would just rewire that through there. That way the air handler could breathe. Give you some options for taking out that closet or that closet if you wanted and opening the place up a little bit. Again, it's just drywall paint, which we're going to do anyway. Same flooring. All right, this is bedroom number three. Of course, you're going to take the unit ACs out, hang that garage, that closet door. I spoke with the neighbors, and they wanted me to make sure that I told buyers that if they renovate the house to not change out the solid wood closet doors. These have been here since 1972. They still work. They said they've changed theirs out for the bifolds or the ones with the tracks on the bottom and they don't last or work as well. So now I have discharged my duty of conveying that priceless tidbit to you. Those doors are pretty good. Just hang in there. All right, and then we have bedroom number three. See, you got a nice private view there. Got the closet. See that fan? That's brand new. I was just put in. I don't know was thinking about remodeling. And you put the fans in. So you can check that off of your list. All right, we've got the bathroom, which is ready for a remodel. Probably you're gonna get a new one of those, or that looks good. Get a new one of those and those. Talk to a couple of the neighbors. They said hardly anyone ever takes out the tubs, or the original tubs. They're metal, they're in good shape, and they just put new tile and fixtures around them. Lots of opportunity here. Buy something, cash, fix it up, sell it to a new end buyer, end user, or rent it out. If you're interested in this home, or any home nearby here in the area, or in Pahokee, call me, Top Florida Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town & Country.